Hello everyone and welcome to a spotlight on the Archimedes Ships mod. Now this is a fairly simple mod um, and what I really like about this mod is that you can um, craft many different ships whether it's a small ferry like this one here or huge ocean liners and you can actually um, run them and um, move them across the oceans or the sea or even fly way up into the sky. So as you can see I've made a small ship here and we're going to take it for a little bit of a spin. I've parked a little bit too far away, so I'm going to have to take a run up here. Hopefully I get across. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, okay, made it. So the, the main part of the um, the ship is actually the ship's helm, which is this, pit, this part here. So I'm just going to right click. And once you've done that, you can start moving your ship around. There are some measurement gauges which show you your speed and your direction. Um, but apart from that, it is fairly simple. It is very simple to use. Um, I'm just going to have a quick spin around. It takes a little bit of practice uh, learning how to drive these things. So hopefully I'll be able to, to get back um, and dock the ship. But as you can see, you, you can include passenger, uh, passenger uh, seats as well. So if you want to ferry your, your friends across the river or across the ocean, you can do that. And we'll have a little look in a second about how to craft these things. Hopefully I'm coming in far too fast. Oh, slow down, slow down. Okay. <laughs> and we'll have a look at exactly how to, to make these things. Okay, I think that's close enough, hopefully. So I'll get out here and I'll show you how it all works. Um, so basically we have the, the helm at the front. There's some um, ship's gauges there. I've included some passenger seats there. And down below there are actually some floaters which are underneath the water. And these just make sure that the, the ship isn't going to sink too far down into the water. So it's fairly, fairly simple to make these. And you may notice these strange blocks at the end of the dock here. These are actually called shore buffers. And they just make sure that the ship doesn't get attached to any other blocks. Uh, because the, the ship will um, figure out how many blocks are attached to it um, depending on what's around it. So water doesn't count and the soil doesn't count um, and the, the uh, shore buffers don't count but things like um, bits of wood and fencing and, and stone blocks and all that thing can all, all those kinds of things can all be included inside the ship. Um, so you need to make sure that there is space all around the ship, whether that's water or you know these shore buffers or soil. So the great thing about um, this mod is that it not only builds ships that go across the ocean, but also ships that um, grow, uh, can fly in the sky as well. And I've got one here, just a small little balloon. So I have, once again, the helm at the front. There's a few gauges over here. Um, there are different controls for making the ship fly higher in the uh, in the air and we'll take this one for a little bit of a fly around just so you can see how it works. So it does make travel um, much much easier. You can fly over mountains and yeah, basically you can fly anywhere you like without having to worry about um, different mobs spawning and, and that kind of thing. So it, it definitely makes it all very handy being able to um, to fly like this. And I'm going to see if I can land on that X down there. It makes it really easy to, to go and explore the world as well. If you're, you're playing in survival mode, um, these things are fairly easy to make, so you can get them fairly early on. And when you have them, you'll be able to explore your world uh, much, much easier. So let's have a look at how you actually make these things. Um, as, you, as I told you before, it's it's fairly simple mod. Um, you don't have to worry about building machine parts or anything like that. Um, the main part is the ship's helm, and that can all be made from wood. Um, some sticks and an iron ingot, and that creates what's called the, the helm there. Um, it, you probably want to have some floaters, especially if you're you're landing your ship in the water, or if you're you have a uh, ship that just goes across the sea. Um, and that can be made with some wool and some wood. You'll also want some air balloons if you're flying up in the air, and you can make that with some string and some wool. Now, if you are flying in the air, 40% of the blocks need to actually be the air balloon blocks. Um, so, for instance, if you have a well, if you have a, a air balloon that is 60 blocks 
um, just for the, the base of the air balloon, you'll need to have 40 air balloons on top of that. So there needs to be at least 40% air balloon blocks in the entire build of the ship. Um, now this is optional, you don't need measurement gauges but you can include them and they show the speed and the direction and with the airships they show the height. So there are two different variations, one is for sea ships, um, for just for travelling across the ocean and you make it with glass panes, iron ingots, gold ingots and redstone and the airship measurements are slightly more complicated but still, they're still fairly easy to make and they just include an extra couple of glass panes in the bottom left and the bottom right corner. Um, the shore buffers, again, they're not necessary, but if you are, if you do have a ship such as that little ferry over there, you'll probably want to use them so you, just to make it easier to dock. And the, the shore buffers are made using the floaters with an ink sack. And lastly, if you're ferrying people, whether it's um, flying in the sky or across the sea, you'll want to include some passenger seats. And once again, these are really simple to make. All you need are three bits of wool and they will actually make a, a passenger seat that you can you can put um, onto your, your ship or your boat. So that's basically it. There's kind of six uh, recipes that you need to know. The main one is the ship's helm. Um, you will need floaters and air balloons if you want to fly. Um, the, the other ones at the back are kind of optional. You'll probably want some passenger seats if you're, if you're playing with a few friends or you want people to, to join along. So um, that, is the, <laughs> that is the Archimedes Ships mod. Um, it, it is lots of fun. Hopefully I'll jump across here. Um, lots of fun. Makes definitely getting across the oceans um, a lot easier. And makes the game a little bit more fun as well. And it provides a bit of variation to the game. So anyway, I'm off on my adventure. I'm going to travel across the ocean and see what other continents I can find. So it's bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.